When choosing the right sump pump system for you, let's start with depth, because that's really important. Let's make sure that we all have a good understanding for how these systems work. So let me start by showing you a submerged sump pump. All right, so that's the switch. I'm going to let this up really slow. There, so it's on. And it would run if it was plugged in. Now, there's 10 inches of water. It takes 10 inches of water to do that, to turn your sump pump on, okay? This is a 24. So what does that mean? 10 inches. This is for a 14-inch trench you can't go any deeper. This is one of our 24 inch tall duplexes, okay? So the trench, the trench can be 14. And what does that leave you? It leaves you 10 inches so that this is deeper by 10 inches than your 14 inch trench. Now, DIYers, you do not have to build like the contractors. So here's, I'm going to give you some helpful, you know, tips. And, you know, the reason why we go so deep is just so that we don't have any issues. But you only, to be quite honest with you, unless your yard is swampy. If you got a real swampy yard and, and everywhere you walk you sink and, and it's really bad that way, well, that's different, okay? So now you really do have to tighten up the subsurface. It's going to take a little deeper dig. You know, we have that minimum of 14 by 14 for our customers. But where I'm going with this conversation, probably 50% of the yards that we install, and we do our 14 by 14, and if we do quad packs, we do a 16 by 16. If you don't have a real swampy yard, and it's just bad for a few months out of the year, you only need to dig 11, 12 inches, meaning this could be a, f a full foot deeper than your trench. So your water is gonna fall into the sump pit that you dig for your sump pump unit, okay? So when the water falls out, let's just say, let's just say we dig a 12 inch trench and we run the high octane, we're gonna feed this duplex with high octane but we're going to do a double barrel so just like you see here two pipes you know just parallel side by side run them in a 12 inch trench and then have this you know 12 inches deeper it's super easy to do this is a 24 so a 12 inch trench a 24 inch unit is ideal we have these in full frame, which is what you see right here is a full frame bad seed. This is really cool. I love this. I mean, two half horse <laughs> systems. I mean, two, basically it's two systems in one. And when this falls behind the primary pump, the secondary pump kicks on. And then we're not going to wear out the switches on the pumps because this is what wears the pumps out. See this little basin? This is for a crawl spacer home and it's wrong. I... I hope I live to see the international building codes change this because it just furiates me. But this is what wears out sump pumps right here. That mechanism, the switch, that's what ruins. Well, let's put it to you this way. In my career of 35 years, 99 out of 100 failed sump pumps were at the switch. And... They're usually too grimy, too nasty, and it is just not cost effective to rebuild it. So we have to just go purchase a new sump pump. Well, that's what drove me to build a big chambered system so that when the water rises, it takes longer to fill this long chamber. And this could be anything you want it to be. You could buy additional lengths of chamber. You can buy three feet. If you're, if you're buying uh, pipe and we, we're putting this on a pallet, we can stick some pretty long chamber lengths in for you and an extra coupler. So 
you can really make one of these pumps and these are very expensive pumps and very you know good pumps and you know what this the interruption that the interruption to life when you end up with a flooded garage a flooded sunroom flooded crawl space flooded basement that interruption and years and years and years ago i had that happen to me and it's always in the most inconvenient time in your life you're going to have you know 10 balls in the air that you're juggling and then boom things flood so that's why i like building a chamber where it fills up with water it takes more gallons per cycle so this is a cycle when the sump pump goes down pumps the water down click now the water can rise because it shut itself off the float comes up click this is five gallons in one of these little things so all of our duplex systems you know they're going to take hundreds of gallons that's the difference so when this puppy clicks turns on you're getting your money's worth out of it and one of these guys it's going to last decades i mean a really good pump like this this zoller so you know we use the liberties and the zoller nothing wrong with either or you know we offer them both just because you know different strokes for different folks right so okay so now we get an idea how this has to be deeper than your trench now let's say i know i'm going to end up 24 inches deep on my trench well then i got to go to a 36 inch duplex so this is this happens to be our micro bad seed in a 36 inch it's actually our newest micro and uh we're doing our best to keep up with uh the production on these things but so if you are 24 inches deep with your trench this will be 12 inches deeper when you fully bury it see so the water falls so you say okay from here to here 24 inches right this is this is your depth of your trench and we'll just say this is grade level the water is going to fall into the sump pit okay and it's going to turn on those sump pumps inside there leaving your trench at 24 inches dry as a bone that's what you want so no tree roots fill in your trench so when picking one of these systems out you have to say how deep do i need to go again an easy diy project is a double barrel you know in 12 inches then if you need the sump system you only need to go 24. so we offer the 24 in this full frame unit in the bad seed and we have it in the micro bad seed the difference is not just in size but this one has two half horse sump pumps in it where the micro's got two one third horse okay and actually the micro bad seed and the mighty mini bad seed are the only two in our line that have a one third horsepower sometimes people don't need any more than that you know they have a water problem but they're not trying to pump out you know a, a lake a pond you know something ridiculous so everybody knows their situation you know if you lived in the home for for several seasons you know pretty well what a uh what the wet time of the year is like and just what you need to do to prepare yourself for that so that you're not left in a bad way so i hope that helped now if you're going to do any indoor any indoor units and i don't have one of the screaming demons here but you want to use the micro screaming demon if you're going to do an indoor duplex system all right everybody hopefully this helps in choosing the right sump system for you